Yeah, so basically I spent $200 on chicken papers so you don't have to. You want a snack? Hi, I'm Ashley and this is Run the House Hen. There is a super high demand for diapers in our community. Many of you asked me where you can go to get them. So today I'm gonna be reviewing diapers from four different places. In my experience, the diapers that you find on Amazon, Wish, Etsy aren't great in terms of quality of materials and fit. And of course, that is entirely my own opinion. If you find options on there that work for you, that is great. I just haven't heard anybody recommend diapers from those places. Each of the diapers that I'm gonna mention today come from small businesses. This is usually people hand sewing them in their home. I just wanna say that all of these diapers were purchased with my own money, and this is in no way sponsored or affiliated with any of the people mentioned. So my favorite diapers are ones that have a tail loop rather than a crisscross on the back. In my experience, that's what's most comfortable for chickens and they have the easiest time adjusting to that. They also stay on better. I prefer diapers that have minimal belly fabric too, since chickens tend to get their feet stuck in the fabric that runs on their belly. Of course, the comfort and fit is going to vary from bird to bird, so what works for me might not work for you. No more. In each of these diapers, I will note which size Ren is. Ren weighs about one and three quarter pounds, but we always weigh her with her diaper on and it fluctuates, so that's just an estimate. I would tell you her measurements, but I've never done it right. Doing it by weight has always gotten me a better fit than with measurements, and I'll show you what I mean a little bit later when I go through some of the diapers. All the contact information for each of these diaper places will be in the description below. Let's dive in. All right, so the first diaper I wanna talk about is the Avian Fashions Flock Suit. Ren is wearing the firework pattern right now, and I also have another one in their Burberry pattern. These go for $35 each, and their shipping costs around five US dollars. Their sizing runs from petite, which is an extra, extra small, to a large, and Ren wears a size extra small. The sizing of this one was tricky for us because the belly straps on Ren are too short, even when I extend them all the way. So what I did on that one is I cut those straps off and replaced them with a longer elastic. The small was way too big on her in every part. For the fit of these diapers, the elastic on the belly is adjustable and the back strap is also adjustable. So you can make it tighter or looser. They also sent me a strap extender and that can give you a little bit more length on the back if you need. These materials are super high quality and I've never had any kind of leakage with a flock suit. The liner is waterproof and the outside material is spandex. My thoughts about these diapers, they are a little bit pricey, but they are gonna last you a really long time. I love that the construction of these is modular. Each of the elastics are connected by this plastic ring rather than being sewn directly into the fabric, and this is great if you need to repair any diapers. You can just take out the broken piece and then connect it to the plastic ring instead of having to sew it directly into the diaper. And that's what made it so easy to size this to fit Ren so perfectly. I'm planning to replace the elastics on this diaper just as I did on the fireworks one. I would say this diaper is my favorite size and shape of the pouch. When I put it on her, it fits really well. Their customer service is great, so if you're unsure about which size, just ask them. We went back and forth texting for a little bit to make sure that we'd have a good fit for her, and you could tell that there's a human behind there trying to help you. The next diapers I wanna talk about are from Shannon Sews. We have one in this floral print, and I also have another in this avocado print. It's wet because I just washed it. She's located in Canada, and they are $20 Canadian, which is about $16 US, and it's a flat rate no matter which size you purchase. 
The shipping, I believe, was $5 for untracked shipping and $13 for tracked shipping. And that's in Canadian dollars, so in US it's a little bit less depending on what the exchange rate is that day. Her sizing is based on your bird's weight and Ren wears a small. Again, she weighs about one and three quarter pounds and she's pretty tall for a Seabright. So for the fit of these diapers, the elastic straps on the belly are adjustable. So you have some wiggle room in terms of sizing. It can fit a bird as big as this, but you can also shrink it down to be pretty small, like this. She also sells another style that works for birds with no tail, and that has a crisscross of elastics on the back rather than this tail loop style. She also sells saddles to protect a chicken's back, and she makes phone pouches, so you could have a phone pouch that matches your chicken's poop pouch. For the materials, the outside I believe is a cotton fabric, and she just upgraded to a super waterproof liner. They come in so many beautiful patterns. This is my favorite diaper pattern that I've ever had. I think it looks really nice with Ren's feather, and I'd even say that this is her signature pattern. The bodice of this diaper is my favorite. I love the ease and the softness of this Velcro and the adjustable straps on the belly. The pouch is smaller than I'm used to, so if you like a small pouch, this is great for you. I like that because she's not carrying around any excess fabric than what she needs. They're also made to order so you can just ask about the measurements so that you can find the best fit for your bird. In terms of customer service, she's super kind and passionate about putting out a good product. So definitely work with her to find the right fit for your birds. And buy Ren's signature print if you like it. Baby Ren, I miss you. I wish you'd come do this with me. Oh, where did I put the banana one? Oh, bananas. The next diapers that I have are from Sophie. I have one in this beautiful black floral print and this fun banana print. She's located in Australia. These diapers cost $20 Australian, I believe was a little bit less in US dollars. The shipping was 24 Australian dollars from Australia to Las Vegas. I believe I paid around 50 US dollars total to get these two diapers shipped to me. The sizing is based on the measurements of your chicken. There is a diagram on her page to help you do that. She didn't say if the sizes that Ren has correlate to any size, like a small, medium, or large. So these diapers come in two different styles. The good thing is that there's this little gap at the tail loop and I believe this helps the bird access their preen gland better. One is a classic tail loop where all straps converge at this triangle metal piece and the other style is similar where they all connect here but you also have this little piece of fabric on the back that connects to another triangle metal piece. As I mentioned before, I went terribly wrong with the measurements so I actually take this piece of fabric out completely and I take out this bottom metal. I connect it all to the top triangle piece, which just makes it a bit smaller for Ren. This is how she wears that one instead. On the banana one, I also cut out these straps and I re-sewed them in myself and it's working pretty well. The outside of these diapers are cotton and they come in many different patterns. The inside is a raincoat material, which also comes in some pretty cute patterns and colors. My thoughts about these, I love that the Bantam diapers come with this soft underwear elastic. If you order larger sizes, the elastic will be different. I believe it'll be thicker. They're waterproof and adorable. And if I lived in the Eastern Hemisphere, I would definitely buy my diapers from her. In terms of customer service, she sent me photo updates every step of the way in her creation process and updates as they were being shipped all the way across the world. <laughs> One tip I have for making sure that you get the right fit is asking if the measure you send are consistent with those of your breed. You can also send pictures of a diaper that fits your bird really well next to a ruler or a tape measure so they can try to use that to make the right size. The last diapers that I want to talk about are from Sam's Custom Duck and Chicken Diapers. I have two here. One is in this crayon print and I have another in this little strawberry pattern. They're located in the US and cost $15.50 if you buy in the extra small and the price increases a little bit as you go up in size. The shipping was $5 flat rate and that's within the US. Their sizes are based on measuring your chicken and again there's a diagram on their page to help you do that. For reference, wrens were about an extra small. For fit, there are elastic straps that go along the belly, the tail loop is a velcro closure, and the back strap is a snap 
closure. The outside of these diapers are cotton and they come in many cute patterns. And I don't know what the interior liner is made of, but I've never had any leakage. So my thoughts about these are that Velcro can wear out over time and the snaps will probably last you a bit longer. These also come with a loop so that you can connect a leash to it. This is constructed with a couple pieces that you can put together. So you can take the straps off completely. So this is just the pouch piece that you can put in the washing machine. In my experience, chickens have a harder time walking when there is this much belly fabric. When they lift up their legs, it's easier for their foot to get stuck on the fabric. But this could be because I messed up the measurements so badly. In terms of customer service, the first ones they sent me were way too big, but I sent them back and they reworked them for free. They really want you to have a good diaper for your bird. So like I said, confirm the measurements, send pictures of diapers you like, and ask questions about if your measurements are consistent with those of your bird's breed. While these diapers aren't best for Wren, I hear people rave about them in all of the chicken Facebook groups I'm a part of, so you should definitely give them a try. So just to give you some final thoughts, I think all of these are good options for your chicken. The diapers that I've been grabbing for most are from Avian Fashions and Shannon Sews because of the fit. We have less accidents with those and that's entirely my fault. I would definitely be interested in trying again with the other two places and communicating more to make sure that I'm measuring correctly. So just to be totally clear, it is entirely a flaw of my measurement technique and not a reflection of the quality of those diapers. If there are other diapers out there that you love, let me know in the comments down below so I can buy them and review them. If this was helpful for you, please like and subscribe to let YouTube know that you want to see more chicken content. Say bye, Ren. Say bye, dear friends. Say bye. 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 I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much. You're so my best.